In this video I'll show you the mechanism of the Adomatic. I've taken the cover off. This metal cover is uh, connected through these uh, tabs with, into the slots in the base. And uh, this top part with the uh, metal sliders or the Bakelite sliders, uh, that lifts off. And that reveals the, uh, the mechanism underneath. It has these uh, chains, each with 30 plates numbered 0 to 9, repeated three times. And uh, yeah, it goes around a wheel at the front on this axle and a wheel at the back at this axle. The front wheels are plain, there is no further mechanism here. This is where the register window goes. But the carry mechanism, that is located at the back. Each of these wheels has a spring leaf on the right hand side as we look at it from here. And uh, that, that uh, spring leaf that's roughly next to the uh, one. Let's see if we can uh, just about see it there. You can just about see it through there. That spring leaf. At the moment it's uh, yeah, bumping up against this uh, dividing wall, but uh, as it turns to the top it will reach right here a, a gap in the wall and it reaches through so that it uh, engages with the, with the tooth on the next wheel. And in this case, there's also a carry going on here. But then, as, as this chain moves further, that, uh, that leaf spring is pulled back. And, uh, yeah, the chain now starts moving again without a carry. These buttons in the uh, on the top, these sliders, they uh, yeah they have two prongs at the bottom, and if you push the button on this slider, those prongs extend downwards, and that grabs onto these uh, small wings on each of these uh, these plates, and that's all there is to it. It's a very simple mechanism, although I haven't been able to find any patents for it, so I don't know who designed it. Thank you for watching.